what are the qualities that I look for in a wine? I bet you've been wondering. So let's, uh, let's go through them. Welcome back to Drinking It In. I am your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. And today I'm just um, taking a step back. We're not gonna taste any wine. We're not gonna talk about specific grapes or regions. We're just gonna talk in general terms what I look for in a wine. Um, because, you know, I think it's, it's easy to get, you know, when you talk about specifics, it's easy to, uh, to describe. But if you really take a step back and say, well, what do I want my wines, what do, what do I want my wine experience to be like? Um, it forces you to think. So I have four um, points, I guess, that I, that I like to uh, go through in my head when I'm drinking wine as to whether it's something that I'm going to really buy again. Uh, number one is it has to have some aromatics. Like you see me, I, I swirl the glass a lot, probably more than I should. I'm sure I annoy people that I'm out to dinner with because I'm always swirling if I have a glass of wine in front of me. But if a wine has like aromatics that are, uh, that are jumping out of the glass and there's a lot going on, it's a really good start. And then there are only three more criteria that it has to meet for me to want to buy it again and love it. So number two is, you know, if a wine is especially cool, if it starts with something and then finishes with something else. So if I'm, as an example, if I'm drinking a white wine and I swirl it around and I get lots of uh, citrus aromatics and then I taste the wine and it's all, uh, you know, sweet apricots with a little uh, minerality, like that's really cool starts with something, ends with something else. Uh, you can envision that type of, um, of a scenario happening in a red wine, where you smell all um, red fruits on the nose and then on the palate, it's much darker, vice versa. That makes it fun because then you get something you weren't expecting. So, so far, those are two of the criteria that I look for. Number three is that the wine has to be balanced. I don't want something that is gonna be too acidic too oaky, too luscious, too sweet, right? Too bitter. You want it to be, um, it, the wine needs to be in balance. So I want some acid in my wines and I want, you know, fruit uh, to balance that out. Right? I can't have too much of, of either. So I'm always looking for balance. Uh, and then last, but I'm not going to say last, not but last but not least, and something that I think gets overlooked when people are talking about wine is it has to be delicious. You can have a wine that's well made, it's well balanced, it has great aromatics, but if you drink it and you're like, ah, that just, uh, it's not delicious, then that wine is not something I'm gonna come, I'm not gonna come back to. Not something I'm going to come back to. I'm having trouble talking today. Um, so, you know, I think that is an overlooked um, or underrated piece of criteria when evaluating wine, it has to be delicious. You have to want to go back for more. You want to know, you want to have to have another glass uh, in order for that uh, you know for that wine to come back into your cellar or closet via your cash again. So um, great aromatics, um, starting with something but finishing with something else. Great balance, and it just has to be delicious. So that's what I look for in a wine. Uh, do you guys have any other thoughts, commentary? Let me know in the comments and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, hit like and subscribe. You know, 97.3% of you guys out there are not subscribed. So it would mean a lot to me if you were. Cheers.